We are studying systems of equations. This is when we try to find a solution to multiple equations, and this information is from section 3.5 of our e-text. Let's take a look at an example. We have a table that shows the operating revenue in millions of dollars of wired and wireless telecommunication carriers in the United States per given year. We are tasked in Part A with finding a regression equation for each type of telecommunication carrier. So when we take a look at our data, the time is in years, and we'll want to change that to be the years since a particular value. So we'll count 2005 as year 0, 2006 as year 1, this will be year 2, and this will be year 3. We'll be using year as our x, and then we'll do the wired and wireless separately, and they will serve both as y's, but in their own timing. So we're going to go out to our graphing calculator, and we're going to put this data into our graphing calculator. So here I am at my graphing calculator. I want to enter data, so I'll hit the stat button. I would like to edit the data, so I'll hit enter. I have data in from before, so I need to clear it. I arrow up to the list name and hit clear and enter. I'll arrow over and do the same for list 1. So my list 1 is my x, and my x values here are 0, 1, 2, and 3. I type each one and hit enter afterwards. Now I'm ready to enter my y values. And so I'll type just from the list. So the first one, 205.7, 195.6, and 194.8. I was asked for a regression equation, so I will quit this, go back to stat, and arrow over to calculate, and arrow down to linear regression. I will enter through the list, and my calculator gives me an equation which I'm going to jot down back on my PowerPoint slide. So the equation that we got from our calculator was y equals, and our first number was negative 3.31, excuse me, negative 3.13, I said that backwards, x plus 202.97. And this was for the wired. So this is really answering part A. Put it off to the side here so that I can see it when I'm working on my calculator as well. I am going to go right back to my calculator to find a regression equation for the wireless technology as well. In order to find my new equation, I'll go to my stat, choose enter to edit, I only need to change the values in list 2. I'll arrow up, hit clear, and enter. And now I'll type the wireless values. So I have 140, 157.5, 173.8, and 184.8. I'll quit, and then I'll run a regression. So stat, over to calculate, and I'll arrow down to option 4, enter through these, and my calculator does the work for me, and I have values for A and B, which I'll go back and write on my PowerPoint slide. So this time around, we found y equals 
x plus 141.42. When I read part b, and both of this was to answer part a, and this was the wireless. All right. It says, if the trends for revenue for wired and wireless telecommunications continue, when will they have equal revenue? Use the substitution method to solve. So, in the substitution method, we are substituting one equation into the other equation. So, both of these are what y is equal to. If I take this entire second equation and I plug it into my first equation as the y, I will have one big equation with only one variable of x. So, let me go and write this out. I have a little bit of space over here, so I'm substituting the second equation in for the y, so 15.07 x plus 141.42 then I get to the equals, and then I had negative 3.13x plus 202.97. So now I just have to do the algebra in order to figure out what x is. And so the first thing I did was I subtracted this 141 number from both sides. On this side, these canceled out, and so I was left with 15.07x equals negative 3.13x plus 60.55. Then I added this 3.13x to both sides. These guys canceled, and so I had 18.2x equal to 60.55. And final step of solving was to divide by 18.2. These cancel on this side. I'm left with x equal to 3.32. Right, so I want to think about what did I just find? I found the year, okay? So when I go back up here, when will they have equal revenue? Well, they will have equal revenue 3.3 .3 years out. So actually, during 2008. How do I know that? So during the third year, And I know it's during the third year because of the 3.327. And so if I take 2005 and I add 3 to it, I get 2008. So it's during that year that they will have equal revenue. And it looks like almost a third of the way through that year. If I was asked what the equal revenue was, I could take this value of 3.327 and put it into either equation for the x. So I kind of wanted to know, so I did that. So I took the 15.07, multiplied it by the 3.327, replacing the x, and added the 141.42. So when I did that math, so this is really giving me y equals, plugged in the x value, y equals, I came up with 191.55, etc. The decimal went on. And so I can see here, 
When I look at the wired technology, it is decreasing in revenue and will continue to decrease. And we saw that with the negative slope. I see the wireless technology, it is increasing in revenue, will continue to increase. We see that with the large positive slope. And so it's very plausible that during 2008, they'll end up being equal. And if they continue this trend, which most of our life experience would say is the trend, the wire technology has continued to lose revenue as people switch over to the wireless. So I answered the question specifically with during 2008. And then if I had needed an ordered pair, I have that x value of the 3.327. I also can plug that x in and figure out the y value of the 191.55, continuing with other decimals there. So I have an ordered pair answer. I also answered the question, and I did all of this algebraically rather than graphing the equations. Specifically, I used the substitution method.